in the last couple of weeks i've gotten several messages and comments of people asking whether it is really true that now you can actually work on a visit visa and that there's new rules concerning you know visit visas and now there's a lot of permitted activities on visit visas and you can actually get a job and work blah 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 see lots of things have been relaxed with regards to being on a visit visa lots of things that you could not previously do now you can do on a visit visa is it really really what you're thinking let me explain if you're interested stay tuned <laughs> Hi guys, welcome once again to my channel. My name is Anel Rizoda. On this channel, I talk about nesting, I talk about migrating or migration, I talk about life in the UK as an immigrant in general. So if these are topics that interest you, please do consider subscribing. Before, there were only certain things that were permitted on a visit visa. Very strict things that were permitted on the visit visa. If you needed to do anything else aside those things that were permitted, you would require another type of visa or a work visa. And then if you're found, it could affect your other visas and that you would apply for later or in the future. People were really strict when when it comes to the things that they do on their visit visa however now it is true that some of the things they have relaxed some of the rules and now there are more permitted activities on a visit visa and that's what i'm going to show you today can you come here pick a few shifts as a carer when you're on a visit visa can you come here and pick a local shift as a teacher or as a nurse this is what they mean when it comes to the visit visas so it says in a statement of change in immigration rules published in december the home office set out a number of changes to the uk's visitor visa rules which came into effect 31st of january 2024 it says the changes will now make it easier for foreign visitors to carry out certain business related activities in the UK without requiring a work visa. It says the relaxed rules remove previous restrictions on carrying out client facing work and expand the list of permitted activities for visitors. So this is the update. The list of permitted activities for business visitors has been amended to remove prohibition on working directly with clients. So initially, if you're on a visit visa and you're coming, you were not permitted to work directly with clients if you're coming on a visit visa. However, now that has been removed. The new guidance states that an employee of an overseas based company may advise and consult. So you can come here and advise and consult, troubleshoot, and then provide training, share skills and knowledge on a specific internal project with UK employees of the same corporate group. So let's say you work for Nestle and then there's Nestle a company in the UK as well, but you work in the uh, Nigeria branch. You can come here and train the new Nestle recruits. And then that means that you can share skills and knowledge on a specific internal project with UK employees of the same corporate group. An employee of an overseas based company is now permitted to carry out their BAB activities directly with clients. So one, providing the employee's movement is in an intra-corporate setting and any client facing activity is incidental to their employment abroad. And providing these activities are required for the delivery of a project or service by the UK branch of the visitor's employer overseas and that they are not part of a project or service that is being delivered directly to the UK client by the visitor's employer overseas. Now, the list of things that you can do for the legal sector, they've also increased it. They've relaxed the rules as well. So now, a lawyer may provide legal services including advising, appearing in arbitrations, acting as an arbitrator or a mediator, acting as an expert witness, conferences or teaching, appearing in court in jurisdictions which allow short-term call or where qualified in that jurisdiction litigation transactional legal services including drafting contracts providing advocacy for a court in tribunal hearing all these things were not permitted initially but now in the legal sector you can come here and do all these things and then remote work as well it says the rules have now been updated to make it very clear that visitors are permitted to work remotely whilst they are in the uk but that remote working must not be the primary purpose of their visit so you cannot apply for a visit visa and then when they ask you the purpose of your visit you say to come and do remote working no. Once you come here and then let's say you're needed back home, let's say your job, you can still be working here remotely whilst you're on your visit and now it, there's nothing wrong with it. So the relaxation of these rules recognizes changing work patterns. So the UK home office does not realize that now the world is changing. I mean post-COVID now people can be doing remote work and a whole lot of things so now they should relax some of the rules. So that is why they have relaxed some of these rules. Another reason why they relax the rules is that they also understand that this could open the door for more foreign nationals to enjoy the so-called work casings in the the UK and then it says permitted paid engagement said as well there used to be a permitted paid engagement visa but now that visa has been abolished so before we knew that there were some things that you're counting the way you get you'll be paid we could not come on a visit visa to do those things but now they have abolished that type of visa its provisions are being incorporated into the standard visitor rules so now you don't need that kind of visa anymore you can still take a standard visit visa and come and do those jobs but let me explain what those jobs are so one it says an academic who is highly qualified within their field of expertise 
expertise coming to examine students or to participate in selection panels or have been invited by a UK higher education institution or UK based research or arts organization or you are an expert coming to give lectures in your subject area where you have been invited by let's say a UK university or you are an overseas designated pilot examiner coming to assess UK based pilots or you are a qualified lawyer coming to provide advocacy for court or tribunal hearing or let's say you are a professional artist or entertainer or a musician coming to carry out an activity directly relating to your profession let's say you are David Doe you are coming to perform at the O2 arena before let's say they could not come on a standard visa visa they had to come on a permitted paid engagement visa but now they don't need that anymore now they can just come with a standard visa visa and do that a professional sports person coming to carry out an activity directly relating to your profession where you have been invited by a sports organization an agent or a broadcaster based in the uk or a speaker coming to the uk to give an one-off or a short series of talks and speeches where they have been invited to a conference or another event so now with all these things you don't need the permitted paid engagement visa you can just come with a standard visa visa they have relaxed the standard visa visa to include all of these things the legal sector and then all these other permitted paid engagements and then also we also mentioned an intra-corporate activities let's say you work for a company in your home country that has a branch here as well you can come and do lots of things within that branch in the uk with a visit visa okay so these are the main changes i did not see anything about coming here to get a care worker job with teaching unless you've been invited by a, a let's say a higher education institution in the uk like a university or whatever to come and teach that's fine but other than that you cannot come here and now come in to look for a job under teaching because now some things are permitted and that work visa no that is not what they mean this is what they mean they have stated it and then they have clarified it so basically these are the permitted activities so please i don't see any of the things that you were thinking but still you can come to the uk for those that want to do their self-sponsorship route as nurses or as doctors you can still come to the uk and once you have gotten the go ahead from the nmc and you have a letter to prove that or you have gotten the, gotten the go ahead from the gmc to come and take your plab one or your plab two and then for the nurses you have gotten the go ahead from the nmc to come and take the oski you can use that together with other documents to get a visa to come here and sit for this exam and then when you're done most likely go back to your home country and apply for a work visa to come and work in your profession this is what is permitted not what you were thinking at all